today let's see how to let your child initiate a conversation i respect your whether your child is verbal or non verbal it is important that uh, your child communicates with you even if she knows a single word it is important that she uses that word to communicate with you if the child knows 100 words but he is not using that to communicate with you then it's time to take action on that one of the issues that we hear from most of the parents is that the child does not or initiate child does not initiate by himself and come and talk to us he does not ask anything he does not come and talk to us we have to ask him every time and then only he says or talks uh, this is one of the issues one of the main concerns parents say about their child but the actual problem is vice versa we have always been asking them uh, before they even want say for example even if they are sitting on the chair you ask them do you want water do you want to eat or do everything before they need so you always tend to do everything before they need or if they come and stands next to you so you have you start questioning them do you need this or do you need that that's the reason they are so used to responding to you only when you ask something so let's see a uh, white child does not initiate a conversation we as an adult uh, did not provide an assurance that we will give him an object immediately if he needs it yes when he is in desperate need of something say he wants a snack and what will you do you just ask him uh, tell the snack name then i will give it to you if you say give me then i will give it to you so see w- what kind of stress you are giving to a child so the child would be like what the hell even if i want to if i even if i want something i have to say something they are putting me in stress if i reach, reach out to them so that's the reason they don't come to you and they hesitate to come and talk to you so what happens here is the child lose the trust in an adult to ask for something and hence the reason they don't want to come and ask you anything at all they will just be happy in their world so next time when the child comes to you asking for something just give it to them so that you will get you will gain that confidence with the child it's important that we provide that confidence for the child to reach out to an adult so the first problem is building trust what's the next problem uh, we always try to take up the lead and talk when you both sit for a conversation we don't wait for we, we don't wait we don't give enough time for the child to talk or we don't wait to help him communicate something to you so whenever you you both are standing in a place you always tend to take the lead either by asking any question to him or by uh, judging what he knows uh, say you go and sit with him to play with a clay how do you start you will take the lead and start to talk first you will start by saying what is this what is that what color is this take that clay do you think a child will have any interest in talking to you you're just asking him questions after questions so obviously the child doesn't take the initiation to talk with you same happens every time you go and sit with them to talk you take up the lead you don't wait for the child to communicate with you and next you give lot of you ask lot of questions so second problem is a combination of you taking up the lead and you questioning him every time and you are not waiting for him to say or initiate something with you that's the second problem the third problem is that we do not give enough opportunity for the child to talk for example in his daily routine you just rush to finish the daily routine and you you do not give an opportunity for the child to talk for example giving him bath dressing him up feeding him making sleep making him sleep talking him taking him to therapy sessions all of these things uh, you just rush uh, we cannot we can give lot of opportunities for him to communicate with you in this whole routine process but we tend to finish it fast without waiting for him to see if he is trying to communicate anything with you so uh, just don't keep don't keep running uh, give a pass button and see if you can give any opportunity for the child to talk to you during the routine process so this is the last problem we are talking about we are not giving enough many opportunities and we don't wait for the child to communicate we don't give enough time for the child to communicate we just rush rush with our daily activities with the child so that's the final problem uh, so if you want to see the list of issues 
means stopping the child to initiate a conversation that child those are child doesn't trust an adult you always take the lead you ask a lot of questions we don't give enough opportunities for the child to communicate we don't wait we just rush anything we do with the child we are not spending much time to interact with the kid whenever you spend time with them we always tend to question them so we have to actually say that we as a parent doesn't know how to start a conversation and should stop complaining that child doesn't know that's right we as a parent does not know how to uh, start a conversation and we does not know how to help a child initiate a conversation so let's be as a, uh, let's uh, understand how to initiate a conversation help a child initiate a conversation so first thing let's see how to build the trust you can build the trust only in situations where he reaches out to you for something understand this when child is in need of something in those places you can build the trust to start with the snack needs when he request for any snack give the snack to him immediately but instead of question him questioning him just interpret him what he has to say for example if he is hungry and comes and takes the plate just bend down to his knee level look at him eye to eye and just say hungry rubbing your tummy and give the plate and food to him so just model him just interpret him what he has to say uh, don't question him so do this only when he he is in need of something so just don't take a plate and just say hungry and then give it to you so that is the difference don't do anything before he needs do anything whenever he is in need of something but without questioning by modeling by interpreting what he has to do so go through the list of modeling rules which i have mentioned in this uh, video just pause the video and read out all these rules uh, just be face to face don't use too many words like look here look there don't use child's name don't uh, use different names uh, if they if you use idli one time and the time you use mamam and the time you use food so don't do that just use a single word to to point to something what you are referring to so just build that trust with the child that you will be giving what he wants second issue is uh, you taking up the lead and asking a lot of questions when you start the conversation to solve this uh, when you sit with them to play or to to teach or anything uh let him take the lead and you do not ask any questions okay so if you want to play for example i can give like if you want to play clay with the child uh just put the clay box in front of him and wait don't talk don't ask questions let's see what the child is doing if the child is uh rolling the clay or if he is pressing say for example if the ch- child is pressing the clay you also do the same thing what the child is you also press but interpret the word press on behalf of him by uh, using the modeling rules which i mentioned just do what he does and give a name just interpret for the action he does then he will start noticing you then you can do something new like roll in addition to the press and say roll 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 so when you roll you can help him imitate what you are doing so there is no question at all in this process and you have to give lot of time you have to wait don't rush you give lot of time for the child to communicate so follow the modeling rules again when you do what the child is when you imitate what the child is child feels superior and happy that someone is actually listening to him so there should not be any distractions in the room there should not be any place to run around in the room choose a corner place or choose a place where uh, where the child will naturally look at you so another important point to note don't have any expectation when you sit with a child say if you sit with him for a slime play and if the child instead of playing with the slime uh, he rolls the slime box then you should also roll the slime box you don't set rules for him to play let him take the lead and start imitating you uh, then we can teach the rules once he notices you and once he get the confidence the third problem is not giving him enough opportunity to communicate in our whole daily routine there are a lot of places where you can give opportunity for him to communicate when you go outside give only one of his shoes and don't give the other one and see what he is doing is he looking at your eyes or is he trying to say something 
or say after bathing just keep the towel with you don't wipe him and just see if child is trying to communicate with you wear the shirt inside out uh, uh, when he asks for water just give the tumbler don't give the water wait let him look at you or let him ask you something so in some of these cases child doesn't like what you're doing and get restless in those cases give it to him immediately in some cases child does not respond at all so wait for some more time and then give it to him and try the same thing next day but try to see where and all you can give additional opportunities for the child to communicate with you without stressing her out so even at your home uh, you can keep all the things out of reach uh, so the list on the places where uh, the child goes and takes by himself without looking for your help put on those list and ensure that you are keeping all those things away from him so keep everything out of reach for him at home water toys phone snacks he should get the need to to look for an adult when he needs something so change the setup at your home when he goes there and look at you use the modeling rules and say the object name and give it to him immediately so that way he doesn't stress himself and then he will notices you and he will understands that i just need to tell the name and then i have to give it to you you just model him don't teach him try to follow these steps for a few months and you can see difference in the way child communicates with you so this will gradually transform them to initiate some activities with you you have to give him more opportunities to take up the lead and then see the result so uh, build that confidence with him so don't always be in the uh, therapy mode or teaching mode um, thank you uh, subscribe and share with parents in need Uh, let's create an awareness for the parents to work in the right way with the children and help them come out of the spectrum symptoms keep the children stress free stress free keep them happy thank you